My name is Rapsody, and welcome back to Dark Souls. Hell yeah. Okay, so as soon as we rested at that bonfire, all of the enemies in the area respawned. It's just kind of atrociously annoying. It can become really frustrating. Because it means that there are... Oh, I almost fell off the end myself. There. There we go. Get the fuck off. It can become atrociously annoying because it'll mean you have to refight the same enemies again and again if you fail to do something. Oh, I'm not in a backstab animation. Damn it. As I said before, I want to be backstab fishing in these fights so that I'm constantly in a backstab or a repost animation, which saves me from the ability to take damage to anything else. Okay. Well, without another enemy here, I can just kill him, generally. All right, let's see if I can get the parry here. Uh, and... Nope, too early. But I can get the backstab, and that's good enough. There's also another guy in here. No reason to really go for these guys. Um, I guess I'm just doing it to full clear. But... Oh, actually, I should probably get the black fire bombs. That'll give me a reason to have fought them. So black fire bombs are consumable items that I can put down in my consumable bar, and they do a lot of damage when you throw them at things. Excellent. This man up here is throwing fire bombs, not black fire bombs specifically, but he is throwing fire bombs nonetheless. Ouch. Okay, one down, two to go. Two down, one to go. Oh man. Damn it, didn't get the parry. So having the master key is also going to allow me to open this. Usually I'd need to purchase a residence key for 1,000 souls, but I'd rather use those souls to be leveling up. Thank you very much. So now I can take the gold pine resin, and the gold pine resin is a temporary buff on certain weapons. Doesn't work on all weapons. And yeah, it's pretty good. It specifically does lightning damage, so if the enemy is weak to that, that's really, really lucky. Well, not lucky. Usually it's planned. Okay, come up here, be on even ground with me, and then I'll parry you and kill you. One. <clears throat> so, throughout playing this game, gradually you'll just get better at the parry timings. That's just how it works. These guys I've had to fight many, many times. You can sometimes, uh, with enemies that are way, way larger than you, you can even parry them, and that can become good fun. This guy is way larger than us. We already killed your brother with the halberd. Now it's time for you. Start off with a backstab, that's why I had to walk up slowly. Parry and stab. Now, if we were particularly ingenuitive, we could have timed that so that we were around the other side, so that when he got up, we could do a backstab. Uh, yeah, but I'm not doing it right. Whoa! Okay, don't- stop taking damage. Alright, now I'm scared. Because one more hit at this point from one of these more powerful attacks will kill me. Easy life. Okay, come on. Get back up. I dare you. Excellent. Don't do what I just did. You're not supposed to change weapon to finish them off. That's bad. That was a bad idea. Uh, that was also another weapon that I wanted to have drop, so... <clears throat> I did say there's three. There are three that we can have dropped. But, uh... Lady Lock is not looking kindly upon us. Yep, figured that was going to happen. So usually in uh, 30 FPS, I can jump over that, but we're running a mod DS fix so that we can do the... Uh, rather than 30 FPS, so that we can do 60 FPS, which actually changes a lot of the gameplay and a lot of the timings for things. So it's really difficult to get used to, and I've never been able to jump over that since. Titanite lizards give us Titanite, which is an upgrade material for our weapons. 
Um, take that off, take that off. Excellent. So there are archers up here. This is a boss fight area. As soon as we get halfway across the bridge, a boss will drop down called the Taurus Demon. We'll fight him. That'll be a grand old time. Uh, but before that, we've got to kill these archers, because otherwise, during our boss fight, they'll interrupt, pelting us with arrows. Absolute dicks. Oh wait, I have the red tearstone ring. Why haven't I got any of my rings equipped? Okay. There you go. So now that we're close enough, yep, run the buff. Okay, so we can use invincibility frames, which means basically while we roll, there are certain times that we are invincible. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try and swap to two-handing my weapon whenever I attack. Okay, so we staggered him, which means... Okay, this next shit hit should do a lot of damage. Yeah, 241. We had the red tearstone uh, buff active there just at the very end. Also the blue tearstone buff. Humanity and a homeward bone, lovely to see you. It's a large soul of the lost undead. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's meet Solaire. Now we are actually going to join Solaire's Covenant. Ah, uh, uh, now that I am undead. Actually, you know what? I'm going to skip through his dialogue. He basically oh. says, "Look, we can engage in jolly cooperation with one another." Wow. Oh, I accidentally chose the wrong option there. He's he's very long-winded oh, in saying yes. it, though. This, ple this pleases me greatly. Are... Take this. Anyhow, now we can summon, uh, or we can be summoned to other worlds which is other single-player campaigns in order to help those single players win the game. Okay. I don't think I ever explained why I really severely wanted the Grass Crest Shield, but the want for... Hang on. Breathe fire. Dragon, please. I want the dragon to breathe fire to kill that uh, archer there. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to go down here. And as I said, this is an incredibly important bonfire. I said that at the very end of the last episode. Kick down a ladder. Perfect. Now we can get back to that bonfire at any time. And back to here from that bonfire. Dark Souls is really good about having the map fold in on itself. So that there's a real continuity to the areas that you're in. So I'm going to run the buff, and as I learned last run, if I poke my head out, the dragon won't do the thing I want it to do. What I want it to do is I want it to just land, there we go, like this, drop down your tail for a second, and perfect. So this is going to be our start game weapon, this is called the Drake Sword, as you might be able to see on the screen. And the Drake Sword is commonly referred to as the new player's weapon. The noob weapon, basically. Which is a completely fair assessment of it. It's one of the most powerful uh, weapons that you can get really early in the game. And with relatively low effort. The way that I did it is a non-standard way to do it. Uh, often, especially for newer players, you just get a bow and arrow and then you shoot the tail of the dragon, which is just in that ish area up there. Well, it would be if I hadn't cut it off. Uh, you shoot the tail of the dragon about five trillion times. So it's frustrating and boring, so I decided to do it this way instead. Now up here is our final chance to get a really good weapon early on. I need this guy to drop his weapon. Okay, so when he does that attack, we're going to circle around behind him and backstab him. There is another attack that we can parry, though. Like an overhand swing. Okay. That one's not parryable. That one's not parryable, I don't think. That one might be, but I'm not good enough. That one is devastatingly damaging if it hits. I'm actually just going to full heal up. So that's the one you can parry, but we weren't on the same level as him. 
By which I mean he was just... Oh, standing higher than us. That's... That was damage. Okay. Easy life. Didn't drop his weapon. What is it with these fucking black knights? I've got 173 item discovery. They should be dropping weapons left, right, and goddamn center. This guy decided to drop one of his items. Okay. So you can get through here by fighting all of the enemies and doing all of that kind of stuff. But if you're a lame wad like me, you can just get through here like this. Why fight enemies if you don't have to fight enemies? Yes. Basement key. Lovely. <laughs> uh, so the door is open and then they shut the gate when they realize that you're there. But, you know, we can just walk through before that. And kill. Uh, actually, instead of killing the Boulder Knights here, I'm just going to run past them. There is also a channeler up and behind me, so I can't stay in that room. Otherwise, he will hit me with a bolt from the blue, and I will instantly be decimated in terms of my health points. So that is... I, I just want to point this out. Huh. The bell that you just heard is someone ringing the bell of awakening. It means someone in a different world, uh, so someone in their own single player campaign, has rung the bell of awakening by defeating the boss of this area. Good on them. Much. I think this is a thousand? 400, that's not enough. Do I have any other souls? Oh yeah, I do. Soul of a long lost undead. I always say long lost undead. It's just lost undead. Don't know what's wrong with me. So we're going to pop these so we can get one level up. Lovely. Uh, I'm going to get one vitality, actually. So that's going to increase our health bar. And also, I think, a few of our resistances. The game is very difficult to min-max because the kind of different statistics don't actually do an incredible amount. <laughs> They're all kind of... Like, a lot of them have soft caps as well, so they will only do a lot up until a certain point, and then they won't do much after that. It's interesting. You can parry this guy's huge attacks. Like, whoop! That was bad. That was real bad. Run away. It is time to retreat, friends. There we go. You can parry, like, his super huge attacks. It seems like he's way too big to parry, but... Nope. Not such. Not so, sorry. Okay, and... Nice. So we're not particularly, like, waiting for opportunities to strike and then striking, like, perfect opportunities. Uh, but eh, against certain enemies, you're not really going to get your shit rocked for that. Against any, like, two enemies, you will. So this is really interesting. As I was saying before, the world folds in on itself. That, uh, lays... That, um... It's not a trap, by the way. This is, uh, wrong information. That elevator goes down to the Firelink Shrine. Oh! I wanted to parry that. That didn't work. Let's try... Okay. Didn't work on the parry there either. Or there. Okay. Well, a lot of parrying... So, I'm noticing a thing about when I parry enemies. Uh, instead, I seem to die. Is that the first time I've died, by the way? Is that the first time anyone has seen the, uh, the mod that I made? Like, it's, it was just a replacement of a PNG file, but, um, yeah. I modded the, uh, the death text to say, rap so dead. Rap so dead. Usually it says, uh, you died, or thanks Obama, or shrek That's a good one as well. Oh, I'm not getting the invincibility frames from the parries and stuff that I was trying for. 
Oh well. Hollow Soldier Helm. I'm not going to wear any armor for a large amount of this run. Uh, the first time I think I'll actually legitimately be wearing armor is after the Ceaseless Discharge fight. Yep, you steal the clothes of Ceaseless Discharge sister and then he attacks you. You can't make this shit up. Unless you're Japanese, apparently. Uh, like from Software, the original creators of the game. Okay, so this is one of the most difficult rooms. It's all ambushes, and there's a bunch of enemies, so you really need to wait and time your attacks very appropriately. Otherwise, you time an attack wrong, your enemy will get an attack, and then you will get your shit rocked. Hey. Oh! I timed it wrong. See, the thing is, after an enemy attacks, you specifically you'll get staggered. Which makes huge openings for other enemies to hit you. And thanks to the summoner, all of these guys are doing way more damage than they should be doing. Where's the summoner? You fuck. Get back here, you twat lord. I'm not done killing you. Are you kidding me? Are you seriously gonna run away from me? I... Can I not backstab summoners? I thought they were possible to backstab. Ragdoll physics in this game are hilarious, by the way. Just drag the body away, kick it away. Excellent. Score to goal. Lovely. Okay, so our first real boss fight... Uh, actually, no. I'm, I'm gonna go the scenic route. Right, if I were doing a speedrun, which I hope to do a speedrun of this game at some point in the future, uh, then I would not be collecting any of these items. I probably wouldn't have gone for the Drake Sword either. Alright, that's a bit slow. I think in the speedrun, actually, you do go for one thing up here. Oh yeah! Rapier. Maybe I end up using that. Hmm. I don't know. Rapier is really good because its attacks are... Th oh, lovely. Then, as you can see, I am stuck without recourse. This is Knight Lautrec of Karim. Thank you. Yes, sincerely. I truly appreciate this. And I guarantee a reward. Only later. One second. Yes, very sorry. Your reward will have to wait. I've just been freed. Allow me some time. One more line. I am free. Now, I can get back to work. <laughs> Anyone want to tell me if they think that guy's evil? Taking bets on thinking that guy's evil. You there, with your hand up, saying that guy's evil. Yes, you're correct. That guy is evil. Although... He has a badass ring, and there's a really easy way to kill him. So we freed him so that at some point later, we can utilize the easy way to brutalize him. Basically, we just kick him off a ledge. The item we get from him is really good. It's called the Ring of Favor and Protection, often referred to as the FAP ring. Favor and protection, right? Uh, it increases your stamina. It increases your health, and it increases your load, which is the, you know, things that you can hold. So it's really good. The only downside is it breaks when you, um... It breaks when you take it off. But we're never going to be taking it off, so don't need to worry about that. Alright, so if I fail this boss fight, which is entirely possible... Then I'm going to summon uh, Solaire. That's why I'm in Solaire's cult. I mean, uh, sorry. Not cult, the other one that isn't cult. Ah! Oh, that's bad. Damn it. I died. Oh, I didn't want to die, but I did die. Oh. Maybe I just don't want to lock onto him because I locked on and then I immediately fucked up. I <sighs> wonder if I still can do that fight myself. 
really, I just want the four humanity back that I invested in, um, in that life there. We've got five minutes left. Can we kill him? Yes, we can. So we're going to run by all of the enemies that we can. So these guys just run straight by. The summoner, thankfully, does not respawn. You might have noticed already there are some enemies that do not respawn. The summoner is one of them. The, uh... The super huge dude that we parried unexpectedly. He's another one that doesn't respawn. All the boulder knights do, though. And these guys, unfortunately, do. Yeah. So, yeah, you really do have to time your attacks because if they hit you with that flurry, you're fucked. Because each of those hits will stagger you and guarantee that the next hit from not only them, but also all of their counterparts that want to attack you at the same time, uh, will wreck you. Rock your shit, Armadeus, as I believe I may have said earlier in the series. I think my bloodstain should be outside the boss fight, or is it inside the boss fight? I do not remember. I've played too much Dark Souls 2 and not enough Dark Souls 1 recently. I need to get back my muscle memory for this game. That's what I really need. Okay. What if I just don't two-hand my weapon? He says, as he switches to two-handing his weapon immediately. Gotcha. That's one down. One to go. This one breathes fire. Which is annoying. Okay, and this should be... Easy. Lovely. Okay, so we didn't actually need the help. Of the... Famed Sunlight Warrior, Solar of Astora, but we could have summoned him there to actually accompany us. So that's 10,000 souls. That's really nice. I'll put that in the piggy bank. We climb all the way up here so we can ring the first bell of awakening, which is part of the prophecy. Undead makes pilgrimage from the Undead Asylum to the land of ancient lords. Uh, and rings the bell of awakening, for only then will he yada 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 something link the fires. This is one of two bells of awakening that are very important to us. Excellent. Now we're just going to quickly use the Homeward Bone to get the hell out of here. So, as soon as we've rung both of those, this path is going to be open, but right now, it isn't. So, forget that I haven't mentioned anything about that path existing. Uh, I'm going to end the episode in Firelink Shrine. So that should be pretty easy. I can't believe that none of the Black Knights dropped their weapons. We would have used the uh, Drake Sword in the interim, right? Up until, you know, we got the stats for using the Black Knight weapon. But now we just don't have a Black Knight weapon. Just nothing. Oh, man. It's frustrating. It's real frustrating, that. Plus, this weapon peters off really quickly. It's very difficult to upgrade because the upgrade material for it is not Titanite. It is Dragon Scales, which are rare. Um, I don't know. What's, what's the easiest path for us now? Oh, oh I, ha I have an idea what I can do next. It involves going back to the Undead Asylum, fighting some more Black Knights. Up until then, I'm going to rest at this bonfire and upgrade some of my stats. Uh, we need more of that, more of that. Excellent. 
Let's get back to this screen so that I can say that my name's been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Dark Souls Repair to Die Edition. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It doesn't get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my all of my Dark Souls content. Hopefully we'll see you next time.